Hi all, Sarah Chobb here. Thank you for joining me for crafting today. So today we are going to make a stained glass image using alcohol inks. So I purchased my inks at uh, 651vinyl.com. They're Tim Holtz alcohol inks and they have a large variety of colors there. And I'm actually using this clear acetate sheet. You can have glass actually custom cut at places like Hobby Lobby or Lowe's. Um, I just had this acetate sheet laying around the house and I thought it would be fun for me and my son to do for a little project where we can just sit around and um, fill this in. So I just want to show you my process and how I will make my, I call it stained glass, but it's actually, you know, just a clear acetate sheet. So it's basically like a piece of paper, clear, but a little bit thicker. I'll show you in a minute. So I went to this site, Stained Glass Hobby, quality designs for free. And I thought this image was kind of a good one to start with. Plus my piece that I have is an 8 inch by 8 inch square. But they have lots of different designs um, available on here. So I'm going to go use this image right here. I'm just going to copy and paste it. I have my software open here. I'm going to right click and just paste that into my software. And then I would like to resize this. Um, I'm going to go... Instead of 8, I'm going to go 7 point, let's go 8, 5, just a little bit smaller. And then 7.85, enter. So now I'm going to trace this image so now it's the size that I need it. I'll come over here to select my tracing area. I'm going to left click, highlight this image and let it go it looks like i got a good trace on there and so i am going to trace that there we go and i'm going to remove my background image so now i need to kind of clean up this little area down here i got some little scragglies going on right here <clears throat> and there's several ways i can do that but i'm actually going to just come in with my eraser tool and just kind of erase those little guys out of there. Goodbye. 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 And actually, I'm going to let go. And it will kind of separate those out on its own now. So I can just highlight those. Here we go. And delete. Now, I'm going to come back in here. Select my image. And I'm going to cut this out of black vinyl. So I just want to be able to see what it looks like. That's the only reason why I'm selecting these colors right here. All right, so there is my image, and I am going to press send. And I don't have my machine turned on just yet. I'm going to go turn my machine on. But I'm going to go ahead and select vinyl because I'm going to be using a black vinyl. All right, I'm going to go cut this out and then join me back here for when I assemble it. So here I have my weeded and applied vinyl design. And I am just going to, let's see, come in here. And oh, I'm nervous to do it for the first time. I'm just gonna drop, start dropping my alcohol inks right in here. And I'm gonna move them around a little bit. I have a brush. See how moving them around looks. No, I don't like that. I don't like when I move it around with a brush. Okay, so this is just trial and error. I'm trying this. Oh, actually, it goes, it ends up looking okay. I kind of I kinda do like that. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. 
kind of looks okay after a little bit. I'm just gonna think I'm just gonna come back in here and keep dropping the alcohol ink. And I'll come in and fill in some of the little areas. I think if you just brush on it, it kind of fills in on its own. Okay, cool, cool. That looks cool. All right, I have a heat tool. I'm not gonna heat it too much, just a little wind on it. Yeah, it's looking great. I love that. You can kind of see that there. I got a little extra, a little bonus amount there. <laughs> Just a touch more on this one. There we go. Cool, I think this really turned out. It really does seem to look like stained glass on here. Now you can use transparencies, transparency film, you can use cover stock for like book binding. I believe you can use that. Um, you could actually go to like the Dollar Tree or if you already have maybe some frames laying around at home. Maybe you just have some old frames that don't match your decor anymore. But you can take the glass out. Or maybe you have a little piece of acrylic left over from our project. You could even do the same thing with like some of those acrylic keychain blanks. Just do it a little smaller scale. All right, so there is that one. You can have sandal or I have honeycomb. Let me use a little bit of honeycomb. That could be fun. Ooh, maybe right in the center. Let's try the center of this. I'm gonna be pretty yellow right in the center. Ooh, I'm just gonna put a little bit. I don't want it too dark. I think that'll look, yeah, that'll look kind of yellow when the sun shines through. That'll be so pretty. I think kids would really have fun doing this too, but Definitely some adult supervision because that. There you go. You can see. Da, da, da. Okay, now in these sections, I'm just adding a bit of diamond glaze. This is like a three dimensional product. And I just wanted to give it like a little bit of texture. I think it is supposed to dry clear on other surfaces, but hey, we'll see how it works for this one. I'm just playing around trying some new things here. I think that I'll, I could get like a little bit of like a texture maybe on this clear part with this diamond glaze. So let's see how that works out. I'll dry, kind of clear and raised. I don't know, we'll see. this is pretty good at a self-leveling product but again we're just playing around with it using up what we have to make a craft <laughs> trying something new sometimes you don't always have to use your supplies for exactly what they were their intended purpose you can experiment around a little bit What can we do with this? Yeah, I think that'll have a kind of a cool look to it. I know it looks kind of milky right now. I do imagine it will dry clear when it's done, but that's okay. I wanted it to kind of dry 
clear. I don't know, that milky is kind of cool. So maybe I'll get that milky to stay around. So I know how to do that. I can take a little drop of white alcohol ink, one of the mixatives, and put it on my brush. Let me see all that. Well, let me get a little bit of that white in here. Just, just a little hair, because I still want it to be clear. Just got a little mixative on there. I'm gonna mix, mix a little bit of the white in. Let's see what that does. Oh, I think I had a little dried spot on mine. It's okay, maybe I can kind of squish it out. Yeah, that kind of gives me a little, little texture to it. That's fun. Let's try that. I'll take a little bit more of this white out of this one. Put it over here. I just want a real light sheer amount of white in there, just enough to give like some brush stroke texture, if that makes sense. Let me get a touch more of this white over here. Ooh, I like it now. I like it. I like it. I like those brush marks on there. It gives kind of a texture to it. It looks like that textured glass. Okay. And I will clean my brush with alcohol and then I'll clean it with some soap and water but I usually clean it with alcohol first so that looks pretty cool I really like that I still got a little bit of white now on the back I do still have a protective coating on this material so it's not completely clear so now we're going full clear so I pe peeled that off but yeah you can kind of see that texture it gave on that on the where I put the diamond glaze so if you wanted like a texture glass I don't think you could use diamond glaze you might could use um, clear t-shirt paint I know some people will also lay a, uh, a printed out image of this underneath they're clear and they'll take black t-shirt paint and do that or you could just even take like a black sharpie but um, the sharpie ink will move around with alcohol inks but if you're really careful going in with your brush or make thicker lines so anyway there's our finished project thanks for joining me bye